he told me that this fool shot me. That's what he told me. After that, he just fell to the floor. Loved ones recounting the horrifying moments as a man was gunned down in his home, which led to a SWAT standoff in Choice View earlier this week. I'm Wale Ali. Lindsay Pena is on assignment. This is video of that standoff right here on Monday. The family told ABC 10 News reporter Michael Chen the victim's nine-year-old son was just feet away when the shot was fired. Hours before the sirens and SWAT teams, it was a quiet morning Monday at the duplex house of Anthony Aro. His twin brother Mark had swung by and was hanging out when they heard noises from outside the back unit of the duplex. That the guy was working on his car and like uh, he started banging on something in his motor. Mark says he walked over and calmly asked the neighbor to keep it down. All he said was like, deal with it. What are you going to do with it? You want to fight? And that's when he just threw the first punch at me. Mark says they tussled for a few minutes before his brother came out and physically separated them. The neighbor went back into his home. The brothers went back to their place. Minutes later, Mark heard a knock at the door. Mark saw his brother look through the door's window screen. My brother turned around to say, uh, this fool has a gun. Moments later, a loud bang, a gunshot through the screen. And after that, I saw, I saw my brother was flinched of the fear. He told me that this fool shot me. That's what he told me. After that, he just fell to the floor. Just feet away, his brother's nine-year-old son and seven-year-old daughter. They don't deserve to see something like that. Anthony rushed to a hospital where he died. The shooter taking off, sparking a standoff in the back unit. When SWAT officers entered, no one was inside. 49-year-old Eugene Martinez arrested hours later in Claremont Mesa. Three days later, a brother mired in grief. I feel a big emptiness in my heart. He calls his twin brother a devoted dad, a peacemaker. Always goofing around, making people laugh. He was very caring. The life of his 33-year-old brother cut short by a gunshot. It's senseless, to be honest. It's stupid. Martinez arraigned on a murder charge Wednesday. He pleaded not guilty and is being held without bail. I just want him to stay in jail forever. He does need to rot. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News. A woman, Marissa Perez, was charged with helping Martinez hide from police. A GoFundMe campaign is set up to help the family with funeral expenses. We have a link on the homepage of 10news.com.